Hey, what's up? It's cheap beer for you to drink. I am JJ. If you're watching this on the day I uploaded it, happy Thanksgiving to you. It is Thanksgiving. It's uh, five hours before the video goes up, so I'm going to try to do this quickly so I can go back to getting the house ready for Christmas. We're not doing Thanksgiving today here, but we are doing Thanksgiving later on. Today is decorating for Christmas Day, so excited for that. It's also drinking some good beer day. I hope it's good. I have no reason to believe it's not going to be good. Um, I was out uh, just browsing alcohol like I normally do, and I saw this, um, the same place I picked up Lone Star Beer not too long ago. It's this shop that you wouldn't expect to have a really good alcohol beer and wine selection, but they have a fantastic beer and wine selection. It's where I got the Lone Star Beer, which I ended up really liking. I saw this, only place I've ever seen it. I thought it was new. Apparently it's not, though. It's Shock Top Twisted Pretzel. Um, the packaging is just really the same all the way around. It doesn't say much else about it. Um, but let's try it, see how it is. Shock Top, it, it, the regular wheat ale that they make is okay. Um, I, it gets a lot of comparisons to like Blue Moon. And I think I'd rather have a Blue Moon than a Shock Top. But when it comes to a, a flavor like this, Twisted Pretzel, I'm really excited to try it. Um, uh, my thing, <laughs> I've noticed I kind of do it, uh, for the holidays. I don't know if a lot of people do it too, whether it be Thanksgiving or uh, Christmas party, holiday party, whatever you go to. Um, I like to bring alcohol if it's with my family and my friends, but it's just strange. This would fit the bill. I mean, it's not something you typically see. Pretzel beer. I mean, it's, it just, it's something to talk about. Last year, the big thing was Yingling's Hershey Porter. Um, my brother-in-law brought that shout out to Ben. Um, and then we all really enjoyed it. Um, and so I picked up a couple cases of that, did it here on the channel. So it seems like every Thanksgiving when we do get together, we're trying some beers that we normally don't have. And this is definitely one of those shock top twisted pretzel. It is a Belgian style wheat ale brewed with spices and caramel malt with, uh, artificial flavor added. Shock Top Brewing Company, St. Louis, Missouri. Man, I can't talk. Pretty sure Shock Top is owned by Anheuser-Busch, um, and that kind of confirms it with the tapintoyourbeer.com on the side, as all Anheuser-Busch beers have that. But it doesn't say Anheuser-Busch here anywhere on the bottle. It does say 5% alcohol, though. Um, and really, that's it. Yeah, that's all it says. The Belgian style wheat ale with spices and the caramel malt and 5%. It does say 146 calories. There it goes. 10.8 uh, grams of carbs, 1.3 grams protein, no fat. Let's try it and see how this is. Wow, it took it a second, but it really does smell like pretzels. Um... All pretzels pretty much smell the same, but for some reason I thought of the uh, the sourdough, like the the nuggets. I think that's what they call them, like the big thick pretzel, the crunchy kind that you get in a bag is what instantly came to mind. I'm gonna pour a little more in here. It's definitely got a dark color to it. Uh, sure, looks like the color of a pretzel. It does have the little pretzel guy there on the side, the pretzel wearing sunglasses. And yeah, that's kind of what it looks like. But uh, that's just added color. I'm sure when they brew it, it's not this dark of a beer. Definitely tastes like a... Uh... Man, so I'm expecting when I drink a wheat beer, like a shock top, like a blue moon, I'm expecting the... The, the wheat beer, the smooth. It's, I love wheat beers. Then at the end, you get the little bit of citrus. Normally, you might even have an orange in your glass, too. But um, instead of having that citrus there at the tail end, which leaves you with a nice, refreshing... A refreshing is the, the taste. This is like... Uh, it leaves you with pretzel, which is really strange because... When I have a mouthful of pretzels, if I'm at a bar and they have pretzels and I'm sitting there eating pretzels, it makes me more thirsty. 
because you get the saltiness. Not that this is salty, but you get the taste of pretzels. And it makes me just kind of want to drink it again to get rid of that taste. But that would be counterintuitive because then you'd be left with the pretzel aftertaste again. That's my train of thought there. I hope that makes sense. But it's just a weird feeling because it goes down just like any other wheat beer. Like a shock top. It's been a while since I've had regular shock top, but I'm assuming it's that same taste. And at the end, where there's normally a, a citrus hint, there is this not even overpowering at all, like a really strange uh, light pretzel flavor. I shouldn't have said strange. It's strange that how light it is. I was expecting it to taste like it smells, and it smells of uh, pretty strongly pretzels. Yeah, but it, you don't get that strong of a pretzel aftertaste, which is probably a good thing. Um, that would be kind of weird to just have it taste like straight up pretzels. But it's a nice wheat beer that just finishes with uh, almost like 30 minutes ago you had some pretzels and then you drink a beer and then that's what your it would taste like. Um Weird. Really unoffensive pretzel taste, though. They could have boosted it a little bit there at the end, but uh, not so much. It's fine. It's a uh, it's an interesting beer. Like I said, perfect for those get-togethers. Uh, you see your family if they like to drink. Of course, I'm assuming uh, you might if you're checking out the channel, but. Um, Nothing wrong with Thanksgiving dinner, watching a football game, having a beer, bring something like this along. It's what I do. It just adds to the conversation. Um, and you can talk about how strange it is. Shock Top Twisted Pretzel. I think it was, uh, I don't know, at this shop they had price tags for everything, but this one did not have a price tag. And it definitely was not there the last time I was there. So I'm thinking, I don't think it's a new beer. It might be new in my area. Because I've never seen it before. It was definitely new to this store. Because they didn't have a price. They had to send someone back. And I don't even know what they charged me. Honestly. But I've seen it online. Like $8.49. I'm guessing it was about $7.99. Hopefully it wasn't more than that. I wouldn't want to pay more than that. But uh, I was kind of at the mercy of whatever they <laughs> ended up ringing it up as. I bought some uh, decorations. <laughs> I bought some Christmas lights and all that. While I was there. Like I said, it's a very strange store that just happens to have a really nice beer and wine selection. So I got some Christmas lights, some other random decorations, and some good beer. I say good beer. I mean, it's all right. It, it's not much different than a regular shop top, shock top. Why can't I not say that? Uh, just with a slight pretzel taste at the end if you've had this and you like it or you are interested in trying it let me know in the comments down below if you have a request um leave them down below got uh, a couple video ideas i'm working on i just need to pull the trigger and buy it's gonna be a lot of beer uh, <laughs> i'm just gonna have to buy it all at once so it doesn't go bad but i've got an idea for a video i'd like to do before the end of the year but definitely leave your request down below. If you know of any new products that are coming out, uh, please let me know. I have not heard of anything. That's why I got si excited for this. I thought it was new. I don't think it is. I saw a news article from like 2014 where it was talking about this. Um, again, if you see any new products, any of your favorite products I have not reviewed yet, let me know down in the comments below. It is cheap beer for you to drink. Hope you have a nice holiday. Um, Nice, safe holiday with friends, family, or, uh, hey, thanks for stopping by, hanging out here. Um, we can always keep the conversation going down in the comments. I love hearing from everybody. Cheap beer for you to drink. Uh, I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching.